So right there is the J&M cart. That's the one that we've been running for years. It's been a good cart. And now we've also got a Unverfirth cart out this year. Trying that out, the double auger cart. That big old avalanche, that's a huge, huge mammoth sized beast. I was questioning the size of it thought boy that's big do you need it that big is it gonna be something that's gonna wreck the ground so far so good love the size I want to have a grain cart challenge here but that isn't happened yet but right now I like that big one thinking Who would have ever thought 1,500 bushel would be small? I'd roll the window down, but I'm sick of the corn trash coming in on my seat. So I was saying the 2,500 bushel, I've seen no problems. Hey, don't run me over. He cut me off. Eric, you cut me off. Drivers nowadays. We'll try that again. The 2500 bushel cart, just unbelievable. It is an unbelievable machine. Capacity, you can uh, get to the trucks, you unload what you need. If you have to take a little bit back to the field, you do, and you still can unload quite a bit into it without having issues of, uh, I don't, I can't do this. I, cut it, cut it! <laughs> If you're gonna have a 2,000 bushel cart, spend the money, get the 2,500. You won't regret it. What's another few thousand on top of the many thousand that they already get for the 2,000? That's a lot of thousands. Nice wide turns now, Eric. Somebody told me that once. You know who you are. I need a new tile intake flag, Brian. Now oh, all the dust is gonna get on me. Close your eyes. Bunch of roughnecks here. Combine right over it. We done some different field naming on the GPS screens and we somehow forgot the flags did not transfer over and that is so awesome to have your display show hey hey that was clem to have your display show where the flags are or your tile intakes are gotta have it really miss it I gotta put you down as I was trying to work with one hand I put a new tile flag down because it got ate up by the combine yeah the GPS screen 2630 shows up all the flags that we have tile inlets marked with. Well, that's not how you're supposed to combine. You're supposed to be in the corn, not driving around. Get in the corn! Come on! Oh, he's gonna make more dust. Now oh, I gotta pull my flag. I just put that down there. Struggling! the tile flag. This is where we left off last time. I'm putting you down again. All of the flags show up on our 2630 displays so you can look up at the screen and know when the tile inlets are coming. Well they didn't get entered when we downloaded the thing and screwed it up. Check this out. Dodge Boy Duggo. 
filming. So what we got going on today, we're on a beautiful half section. This one, oh, it's got a few cut up pieces, but 260 acre field started here about nine, thir no, nine o'clock and we have done 160 eight acres and it's 330 mile long rounds the carts are just running their butts off and trucks we have a truck they radio before they get here to know which end to go to so the carts don't have to run as far and mile long rounds we are just eating acres pumping out a truck every seven to ten minutes there's a truck leaving the pits haven't shut off all day grain leg will do eight thousand bushel an hour and the pits have not shut off yet so we're just cranking bushels out getting her done case ih rep was out today riding with eric the big Swede in the 580, the brand new 580 that we're renting, teaching him how to run it and all the features that that tractor has. So he's like a kid in a candy store now, pushing buttons and learning and having fun. It sounds like it's a pretty sweet setup. It's not getting used to its full capability because it's on a grain cart and all you need is horsepower and a steering wheel at that point, really. So you don't get to use their new screen to its capabilities that it's designed for, which is a little disappointing, but tillage it sounds pretty sweet it's got auto turnaround on the headland so like the rep said basically the operator is just dead weight riding with it does everything for you except for tile inlets and grove sites and tree lines stuff like that i suppose but so far everything's been running perfect today corn is awesome sample looks great i guess this corn is 61 and a half pound test weight which is huge the corn is based off of 56 pounds per bushel and this stuff is 61 and a half pounds per bushel. So that's awesome. That helps the yield a lot. So I'm currently combining at 5.8, 5.7 miles an hour, right at 5,000 bushel an hour if this combine's putting out. So four to 5,000 bushel an hour this combine does. Randy, I think, said that 3,200 bushel an hour. Yeah, so eventually here we're gonna bog down the trucks because we just got onto the true full mile rounds, got all the hooky crooky stuff done, and we are eating corn. So we're harvesting around the barns that we used to do the uh, manure hauling for. Those were good times. I'm telling you, it smells about the same as it did when we were hauling manure for the place. It's potent. Pungent, is that the word? We took care of about, I think we hauled out about a million two to a million five hundred gallons. 1,500,000, gallon. 1,000,000, yeah, 1,500,000, 1 1.5 million, that's what I'm trying to say, there you go. Took about 10 days to haul it out, we semi-tankered it, and then hauled it to the field with the semis, and offloaded it onto our, what was that? It was a 6750 Balzer tank, slurry, sludge, man, I wish I could talk. It was a 6,750 gallon, balls or liquid tank and work good but it sure smelled green carts flying all over the place you ever feel like you're being watched they just kind of hover when they're both empty they just kind of hover waiting like vultures kind of scary hey i'm I'm filling up again. Come back. Hey, come back here. Went away from the chisel plow this year because we had so much rat mounting, what we call rat mounting. Large or lengthy stubble bean plant would wrap around the shanks and then come bunched up all rat mounds, what we call, making big piles in the field, which was hard to deal with in the springtime with the diggers. So this thing here is doing a lot better job cutting the trash up. Can't wait to try it in corn stubble. I think she's really gonna shine there, but it's doing an awesome job here too. 52 enforcer sulfur. Muskrat huts, that's what we call them. Cause if you know what a muskrat is, they build them little huts out in the sloughs. And speaking of muskrats, kids, be careful. They're vicious, they will bite. I can tell you a story, why don't I? At church there was a group of kids that were chasing one around out, out in the back grassy area. Well. The thing, it, it bit them. Yeah, got to go have rabies shots, the whole deal. So be careful. 
Muskrats are vicious. I better quit that or I'm gonna drive in the ditch. Gotta go home, check on the dryer. I don't have my goggles on. Farm along a tree line. It's fun. Picking sticks. Slugging heads. Oh boy. If you wanna come help pick sticks, there's a bunch of them picked. I gotta put you down. I see Nikki's riding with. Why wasn't she out helping pick sticks? I'm gonna have a talk with her. Think she'll hear me? Hey, Nikki! Why did you get out? Pick sticks! Don't scratch the paint! Don't you! You out picking sticks! How come? Good help's hard to find. Look at that. Nikki's riding with, she's picking sticks for me, this dang tree line. Hurry up, we gotta go! Can't ever just come ride. No, of uh, course not. The lake back and back. Of course not. It's work to be done. <sighs> come out here, I don't care where you are, you're gonna work. Isn't that right? Do you see any sticks? I got that one, you're next. No. <laughs> Start the unloading process again and little bit stick comes. Emergency shutdown <laughs> procedure. Man, I don't like this at all. machinery out of Graceville for letting us use this 580 quad. Sounds like ours is getting fixed here soon, so this might be the last day I have in it. I'm gonna miss the Pro 1200. Everything about this thing is insane. To be honest, it's, it took a while to get used to, but it is nice. The screen, very user-friendly. I had to turn the radio off, the CB or the Midland, to hear my music, because the sound system's so good. So I don't really know what the guy's been doing all day, but I'm sitting on top of this hill, Empty grain cart for the last hour or so, and boy, the tunes have just been rolling. I'd say maybe the best part here is the joystick. The shifting is more of a paddle shift now. They got a bunch more preset buttons that you can save to whatever you want, from music to cameras that are mounted on the front and the rear of the tractor. It's got an auxiliary camera ports if you wanted to mount some to the grain cart spout or something. And then by the press of a button, I can pull that up on the screen when I'm unloading onto a truck. Can we keep it? I love it. We need the 680. Is there a 680 yet? We need one. Also, since I'm the grain cart operator, you gotta move tiles a lot. Well, it gets a little cold here at night, so I usually come back in a little chilled and uh, turn on the heated seat, which ours had. But then you kind of heat up, days maybe, maybe it's the middle of the day heat up and well then I turn on the AC seat. That is nice. I don't really want to get out. Can we just run all night? Maybe we'll just put a Larson Farm sticker on it and they won't come back and get it. So yeah, big thanks to Titan Machinery and Graceville. I like shiny new stuff. They went away with a lot of the stuff up on the corner post and that is now down on the screen. This is your main computer. The Pro 1200 comes stock on all these new tractors because you need it to run the tractor. And it's set up pretty well. I think it's come a long ways from the Pro 700, so I'm happy to have it. And I'm getting, just when I'm getting used to it, they're going to take it away. So we were listening to Dad talking on the two-way. Him and Randy's brother-in-law are out trying to set the 5200 Salford on corn ground now, so they're making it go deeper in the ground and also re-leveling it. When you go deeper, you have to make sure it's running level again. And I heard Eric say, wow, I can't believe how well this thing is doing in the corn stalks. I didn't think it would do this good. And then I heard Dad say, <laughs> Eric, you got a copy? Radio communications! I've been copying Yeah, Everyone's got the radios turned off for some reason. Now I'm talking on somebody, someone else talking on me. Oh gosh. Yeah, so then I heard Dad also say, yeah, we demoed a 5100, the 
model before the 5200 five, six years ago and absolutely loved it. We didn't buy it then because we had literally just bought our uh, Ripper brand new and did not want to take the kicking on that. So yeah, sounds like it's doing a good job. Let's go see what they're doing. Of course, time's going down. That's always the time that we start trying to set the equipment for different conditions. Never fails. So I hope you guys can see in the dark. It's not too dark yet. Finally to corn stock tillage. We are trying the Salford 5200 and that looks sweet. There is definitely major dirt moving. That is great. Love the blackness of it. Did you say what? Oh, I'm gonna shut you off. This is exactly what we want for springtime for the sun to get the ground heated up. Otherwise our soil is so heavy you just do not get a chance in the spring unless of course it's a drought and then the ground is so heavy it cracks big wide cracks in it and dries out even worse so really it's not good conditions are almost have to be perfect farming this heavy stuff but it's where we live you would think a person wouldn't be nervous talking to just camera but my tongue gets about as big and fat as a well you get the idea i don't like this whatever doing my best we're gonna check the machine for levelness Looks good to me. We're going about four and a half inches deep, as best as I can tell, because it's actually disturbing the soil that I'm having a hard time finding the actual level of the soil. Every once in a while you can find it, but it's hard. But I really like the way it covers trash. We got the 19 footer here. Maybe could add a little bit bigger. That's what they have. I am not running to keep up with that. No, sir. Sun's going down now. And the trees are turning colors. I try not to work in the dust, but looks like I'm gonna this time. We'll have to put this GoPro on that machine, but not tonight. Salford Enforcer 5200. Looks good to me. Going back, check the dryer. Why not? I had to. I just had to do it. There's our last dump of the field. God, them people. <laughs> There's the last dump of the 260 acre field. Heading to the next one, I guess, is making us work late. Well, it's seven. It's not that late. My legs hurt though. Yeah. Anyways, that's a wrap on this field. Off to the next one. I'm gonna go home. So in about 10 hours, you combine 260 acres. Yeah, that's a good one. And it was a good field average too. Crazy, awesome. That was a lot of loads. Yeah. Opening up fields in the dark is always a blast. Traffic jam again. Well, 300 acre day today. Not too bad, that's our record. Never gotten to 300 in corn. So I'm super pumped. We're fueling up, it's about 9.45 at night. Fueling up, getting ready for the morning. Feels good, I love setting new records. Thanks for watching today, guys. I appreciate it. Thanks for supporting Larson Farms. See you guys next time.